Hello everyone and welcome back to e another tutorial. This time we're going back at Blender. What we're gonna do today is learning UV mapping. What UV mapping is, you use it for making textures. It's can, it can be easy and can also be hard. So let's get started. First what we're gonna do is insert the mesh we made in the previous Blender video. To so go to file import import fbx and search document or the model let me find it it should be around here you see right now it's a better tutorial there we go let's import that and there we go what we got is our 3d barrel if you go into random mode right now you see it's just a flat and gray Nothing special. Let's go back into wireframe mode. Let's select the object, press delete to focus, and let's get into edit mode. Why edit mode, you ask? Because then we can add EOV mapping. Right now, it's all blue. It doesn't matter, it's all blue. That means uh, this is the original positions. If you make a mesh, as well like this you don't get the blue lines but black it will work just as great let's go to our shading and uv's and let's start making a map what i think is useful is going to solid mode or by pressing z then hold alt and select the top rim you see the wall circle is now selected then click under uv and shadings mark scene well, it should turn red if you are in edit mode and uh, not edit mode just normal but that isn't the case right now if you select everything drag out via this little corner a new tab click on the little cube and change to UV and editing and click on UV oops UV unwrap you see we have a circle the giant of this let me make sure to select scroll to get this button you click on surface and then unselect everything and then click a panel of click L you can see that's the wall thing here you want it to be nice in sections click on again on this and hold this button to drag it away now we got these dots that make that means we got a UV map Let's as well make one for the bottom. So what we're gonna do? Take same thing. Uh, I think I gotta change my mode back to dots. There we go. Pick a corner that you like this here. There. You select top mark scene. Then select the bottom or this rim. I click a smart seam, do the same here. Smart seam. And let's go to F7 mode. F3 mode. And select spine here. Click on mark seam. Rotate around. Make sure it's the opposite one. Most opposite. This one here. Mark seam. And then when we select everything, drag it out, go to our UV layout scene, and then click again on unwarp, we get a nice solution. So let's click on this one, unselect everything, and let's lay out everything. Click on the cube tool, click on the circle, press L. And then press G. What G does, you can drag stuff. What I like to do is drag first everything out of your scene. This is a 500 by 500 cube scene. Let's drag everything out. L for the large sections, drag out. Press L, drag out. These we could actually redo. Like here, you see. We could remove this seam right here. I very easily just click here and then remove the seams. But first we gotta close this. 
and then go to UVs, clear C. Find it another red spot. Two. Here's another one. Another two. Clear seam. This one. Clear seam. One. Here's. What this does, we have right now. We only want to circle for this and not like in little pieces. It's like you can, uh, Blender makes it for like you can cut it out with pa a paper. So if you then clear the seams of the things you don't want, we get then circles. I just want to select the top row. There we go. Clear seam, and then when press A, then unwrap. Select everything, go into that tab again. We should see it should change. Unwrap. There we go. And it go back to weirdness. Alright. Doesn't really matter, you can just redo this one. That is a pain. Let me just wrap this one. Uh, what I've done wrong. This one. There we go. Then we can select the edge again, click on mark seam. The top edge again, click mark seam. Click on everything. And to click. Let's stop again. And wrap, and there we go. Looks much nicer. Let's make a nice layout. These are the parts that have the most detail. So what I most likely do is then make these bigger. First, let's drag the top pieces and the bottom piece out. LG. LG. Um. This here. What I always do is leave a little space so we can paint it nicely. So, so that is our UV map. What I always do is when we make the thing in Photoshop, we just very easy hold the click on the parts and then look. So let's export this by selecting everything and then going to UVs here, export. To the layout. I'm gonna drag this to my desktop and call this a barrel POV. Export layout. And what you gotta do then is republish this barrel. Because right now we made a special UV map for it, and in that FBX file is the data that will contain the UV mapping. So just go to file, export, FBX. And let's go to desktop as well and let's call this tutorial UV mapping barrel. I click on export FBX. Leave this open and let's go to Photoshop. And in Photoshop with your UV mapping opened, we're gonna make texture. You can do this in any text editor from Paint and Net to Photoshop, doesn't really matter as long as you have layers and you have colors. Just that's all you need. What I do is make a new layer, drag it underneath the main layer, and then let's get a nice brownish color. I think this is a nice brownish color. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make the barrel brown. So grab a brush, you can do any brush, and then make sure harden it is set to 100, harden it. And then just color the thing in. You can do a collection paint buckets, but make sure you leave a uh, edge around it because Roblox otherwise will mess up your texture. 
because sometimes it gets a bit out and then you have white spots on your mesh. So let's just fill this in and even just make a bigger brush for the inside. Here we go. Alright, let's do a second one for this man. Just for the ones that aren't close to any parts. Just fill it in quickly and then when you are close to something, just grab a. There you go. So we have two sides of the barrel. It needs to be the same color. Let's make a trim of the thing. Well, we have, if you were smart, you could leave over photos, uh, Photoshop Blender. But then you could select drinks. Because what I want is to make these rings black. Go back in Photoshop. Let's make a, another layer. Zoom a bit in. Let's make is make a, another color. Let's copy the brown color and make it darkish. A very dark brown. Too darkish. Lighter. There we go. That's the brown. You can do black, but I want the darkish brown because it's gonna be wood. Barrel. For these sections, you don't need to fill them because really they are hollow. Just make sure they are nice covered. New layer, go for the second one up here. Do the exact same thing. Go. Should work. Then we have only two parts left. Upper and lower drum face. So let's get back to Blender and let's see which face is which. So the bottom one, the lower on the thing is the lower one, the upper is the top one. I want to make a little, like a little opening or, or something that's blocking the hole of the barrel where water goes into. I want to make that, so let's grab our brown color. Let's make this a little bit darker, not much. Or like shadow kind of stuff. So let's just roughly go around nicely. Make sure you don't hit overlap anything near the, uh, the white. If I overlap, for example, this, it doesn't matter. Um, and then do it for the exact same but on a brand new layer that's done with okay. okay once that's done let's make that little cylinder we can hide this layer and this is what the texture looks like. It looks like trash, but once inside Roblox it looks pretty good. It's gonna be dark. Here we go. And then maybe a outer glow or a shadow. I think that's kinda like not the, not the best in like textures, but that will do. Then what you could do is easily drag a black background underneath. Not necessary, but I like the small kind of fill. Just add a effect, I said effect, for the color, and let's call that black. Go. Let's click on file, save as. PNG and then all done afterwards 
Okay, and let's head back to Roblox Studio. Alright, once into Roblox Studio, we're gonna insert again a mesh. So, very easy, insert a mesh part. Import our made new mesh, not the old one, but the new one. That the third. No, I won't, and no, I won't. I got giant barrel, very large. Let's scale down to our likings. Go for by eight. The smaller go for by five. Six. That's fine. All right. Once you upload your texture to Roblox website. We're gonna very easy import it. Just go to your toolbox, your decals, your decal, just paste it on here, grab the decal ID, go to the mesh part and paste the texture ID inside here. And there we have it! A UV mapped barrel. Does it look bad? Does it look good? But we could add some wood. Doesn't do much, but yeah, this is a UV map the barrel. I hope you like these two videos of how to mesh make meshes. If you wanna see more Blender tutorials in the more future, let me know down below. And if you wanna learn more about Blender privately, there is now a Two new Patreon courses, one with Blender alone and one with for $15. That's a Blender and the Leo Learn course blended together. So yeah, I think $15 is a pretty good deal for learning VIP Luya. And if you want to be a good professional dev with meshes, that kind of stuff. And yeah, guys, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, share with everybody you know. And we are almost at monetization. We're just 70 hours away from getting monetization. And we're so close to 3k. We're really quick with subscribers. It's amazing. And I really appreciate everyone that is helping me. With this channel by subscribing by sharing it means really a lot with this channel met a lot of yeah nice people such as lolaris alvin blocks diarrhea a lot of really nice people and i want to thank you for supporting this channel and i'll see you guys next time bye bye i want to thank our patrons for supporting this channel by choosing a Luya Learn course, Blender course or other courses on my Patreon site. If you want also to be part of a Learn course, make sure to look in the link down below.